work for Mr. Burley. It could take forever. Well, we'll just have to have a meeting with Mr. Burley. I hate that man. <laughs> Betty told Mr. Burley that she was quitting to take a prestigious job in the meat packing industry. <laughs> Actually, she just couldn't stand working for the man. Hayden, how many times do I have to tell you not to summon me that way? Look, I want Mrs. Thorkelson back. She belongs to me. Hayden, there's nothing I can do. My dear, dear Betty, who is utterly devoted to me, left to take a prestigious job in the meatpacking industry. <laughs> until I can find a replacement, we're just going to have to share Alma. And if that means working her until she drops, so be it. Uh, no, we're not sharing anybody. I need her. It's taken me years to break her in. She's like a favorite pair of beat-up old shoes. <laughs> well, I have no shoes. I'm barefoot up there. Well, that's tough, Howard. I don't want her running up and down the stairs all day. That's not how I reward ten years of service. Loan me Alma, and I'll okay that whirlpool you wanted. <laughs> you know, <laughs> awfully short-sighted of me to be so selfish right now. The university needs you more than I do. So you'll be working for the both of us, for the time being. I hope you enjoy your new whirlpool. Ears like a bat. <laughs> You know how to type? Yeah. But I'm not as fast as you, though. <laughs> Coach, I was just wondering if you'd like to sign the Save Our Sweeties petition. All these signatures are in crayon, Dauber. But these kids are adults whose minds are blown from eating that stuff. About half and half. Will you sign it? I'm not going to sign it. What kind of thief do you think I am? Hi, Hayden. Hi, Dabber. Well, hi, Shirley. <laughs> Thanks again for the signature. You're welcome. Are you busy? No, come on in, Shirley. I'm just looking for the M. I just thought I'd pop in and say hello. I came by to bring Howard his minoxidil. Isn't that the stuff that grows hair on anything? Almost anything. <laughs> If you need something typed, I can do it for you. You know how to type? Of course you know how to type. You're a woman. <laughs> and not only am I a woman, but I was a secretary for a number of years. Until my problem got the better of me. But that's a story for another time. <laughs> hey, you know, this could be the way I get Mrs. Storkelson back. That way you could work for Howard temporarily until he finds someone permanent. Well, I've always fantasized about what it would be like to work for Howard. Oh, we all have, Cheryl. <laughs> Let's see if he's in. words a minute, even blindfolded. I actually did it once at a wild Christmas party. <laughs> 90 words a minute? Of course, they made no sense, but there were 90 of them. Hayden! Oh, hi, Peaches. Hi, Cree. What are you doing here? I brought you your little miracle bottle. just my mint drops. Then you're going to be growing hair on your tongue. Hey, how, 
just want to find your secretary. Say hello to Peaches Burley. What? Hayden suggested I work for you until you find someone permanent. Isn't that a wonderful idea? Uh, yeah, it's wonderful. What a wonderful idea. Great that she can start tomorrow. Tomorrow, good.